we are back uh, on this fire uh, station build here. Um, I was really, I was trying to get my uh, get my dad to come with me. Um, he's, I mean, hell, he's like 90. Um, but uh, so this fire station right here. Um, is new. It actually used to be located right there on this corner. Um, and uh, my dad was the senior uh, lieutenant there. Uh, he was in the fire department for 38 years. Um, and uh, I thought it'd be fun uh, if he wanted to come today. But you know what? Uh, I called him. I don't think he's even awake yet. But I'm going to call him a little bit, see if he wants to check out the inside or something but uh alrighty um we have uh, interacted with some of the locals already nice guy though um we have uh got our uh, uh sorry what's that? our fosk um built but gosh it is windy so i'm not going to be uh playing playing around too much with the otr once i get there uh, to that step, but um, the uh, fossil got ready. I'm gonna land my tubes uh, right quick. It's basically just gonna land the brown and the uh, flat drop. Um, got our gel block uh, on there, and there's some more slack. Nice clean box to work in. So let's go ahead and get that uh, cranking. And then let me go grab the splicer out of the vehicle. Hello. Uh, I am out here splicing some fiber optic cables. Okay. It's a little little too windy. I think I picked the wrong day though. Oh, <laughs> just to check on yeah. Oh yeah, no, we uh it's easier to do it with the table if I'd have to set my like a truck up and I'd block the intersection. So just nice uh, at least it's not hot, I guess. <laughs> Uh, take care. Oh, well, that was nice. She was sincerely uh, concerned about my well-being. It's nice. Uh, but all right, cool. Let's uh, let's get let's get her uh, let's get this thing going. All right. So we went ahead and got on our blue, and we're running the OTDR on it. Looks as if. Sorry. Sorry, guys, it's bike week uh, over here. Um, down at the beach, there's a event or something. Uh, so, I'm gonna hit OK. station on uh, hooked up here cases built um, unfortunately I uh, screwed up I guess I'm gonna have to run back to the last box that I was just in and um, I'm I'm pretty sure I spliced the wrong tube somehow I, I uh, the, like there's three brown tubes in um, the tray and I'm shit I don't know I guess I Hey, I'll be right back. Jesus Christ. You guys, you guys only knew what I just saw. Holy Lord. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm just gonna pack this up and uh, before I make contact with the customer, run back to the other box. Just see, see where I screwed up. All right, we got a little bit of, a uh, little bit of deja vu here. We're back on this joker, and I am gonna explore how dumb I am. I just got, I got moving and grooving, and I guess I got myself confused. So I'm assuming I'm gonna open this up, and so yep. I see exactly where I screwed up. I labeled fire number two, 
in North Park or backwards. Anyway, I got some shit. So, Plaza, uh, it's our pop. It's, that's the correct one. I'm gonna take this out and uh, I'm almost positive this is uh, just a backwards. What a dummy. Well, at least it's nice and clean and easy. So, uh, yeah, both these places are, are bad. Yep. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead. We'll get into it. Okay. So we're not gonna. I screwed up on. We're not gonna do this three times. So I am gonna go ahead and just uh, shoot the OTDR back to the pop. Um, just to freaking silly. So put this place together. Okay, let's turn this joke around. Let's scan on her. Laser radiation, do not look directly to the laser. <laughs> Cool. So I'm 1.6 kilometers uh, back onto my back to the pot. So it'll be a three kilometer. Uh, you can't see none of that, I don't think. Um, it'll be a three kilometer uh, back to the pop. Then I'm going to have a cross connect over there that I got to go put in. And then I'll just tell them, hey, it's port number eight or whatever. Cool. And I do have the right one this time. <laughs> uh, well, I just laughed about it. I do. <laughs> All right. All right. Nice uh, controlled environment here. Um, so, got our OTDR. Um, we did correct our, my, my boo boo. And I'm going to go ahead. Sorry. Ahead and splice the pigtail together. Draw this fifteen kilometer. So a reflection. It's probably just the pigtail on the other end. Three events, and as you see it, I have um, actually I'm going to rerun that because the 10 kilometer is or 15 is wrong. There we go. Oh, oh it's picking 15. Let's escape menu, menu. Eh. Yeah, manual 10 kilometer. Escape. Save. Yeah. I don't know why it's picking 15 because it's only uh, 3.5 or something. it I guess no big deal um, so from uh, here to our splice is 1.57 kilometers 
and from uh, here back to our pop is 3.175. Super, super duper. Uh huh. Um, so I guess what we are going to do. Oh, I'm dumb. I could have just actually spliced this pigtail on instead. I don't have to do another. Whatever. Uh, cool. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up. So, this is a, a UPC pigtail I've just had forever plugged into this, and um, I'm going to, just out of curiosity, um, shoot the OTDR one more time. I'm curious to see if this is a reflection event or if it's... Oops, sorry. I don't know. I guess there's a fire. Look out. Yeah, that, so that was really uh, interesting. So my splice is fine. I was concerned because of the loss. I mean, even that amount of loss was trivial. But I think what um, this being uh, APC, it has got that angle on the end, and I think it killed um, the reflection. Yeah. Let's just do, I'm just gonna do one more. Yeah, so you don't even see it now. Cool. So that thing's probably just damaged too. It could be that. Directly to the laser. Yep, so you don't even see it. 3.167. All right. Ouch. Uh, let's get out of this fire station. So I just, uh, I can't get back in because uh, I guess they're out on a, on a fire or call or something. Um, but I see what they did here. It's pretty cool. Um, so, like I said, the um, fire station used to be right there. Um, so in 2016, it's when uh, they moved over here. But if you notice these bricks, check this out. I love how they what they did here. So that's the original uh, fire station, and I do believe these are all the original bricks from it. How cool! Uh, just I was standing here uh, waiting. Wait and get back in, and I saw this. So I was just like, huh, that is pretty neat. So, this is the one that Pop Dukes worked at. Uh, he was a volunteer. Um, and uh, while I'm waiting, I'll tell you a, a story that was pretty dang cool as a kid. So, my dad was a senior lieutenant, and he was like the president of the fire association. And when the volunteer fire department purchased um, new fire trucks, they, uh, somebody has to be like you can't a business can't buy uh, fire trucks. So you have to like somebody still has to sign and blah blah blah. So my dad was on the title to the brand new fire truck. Uh, two of them. It was a, like a fire truck like you normally would see, and then one that's like a tanker. And uh, the city and paid. Well, I didn't get to uh, finish my uh, story there. Um, this is our, uh, ultimately will be our new office. Um, but, uh, I just gotta get the cross connect put in and I'm done with the fire, fire station. But, um, my story was that when I was growing up, um, the city, uh, paid firemen and the volunteer firemen, uh, didn't get along and the city was going to disband the volunteer fire or they yeah they were gonna like disband the volunteer fire department or they were gonna um and and take their fire trucks so the fire trucks that they just purchased so one day i came home from school uh, i was probably in like fourth grade maybe fourth fourth or fifth i think and um oopsie i uh was playing outside and uh there's two fire trucks hidden 
behind our house. Um, like in a, like they're hidden, um, in a way, like you can't, so you can't, like you couldn't even see them from the road if you were, uh, um, out on the road. And, uh, Pop Dukes was like super by the books. Like he would never, this was very abnormal for him. I just always remembered that. But, uh, basically he stole those fire trucks because his name was on the title to prevent the city from taking them uh, from the volunteer fire department. And uh, I always thought that was like one of the craziest stories because the, um, he, he, I mean, the, all the volunteers knew where they were. Um, it's just that uh, he didn't want them to, uh, to steal them. So I just kind of a neat, neat story um, that, you know, silly. But uh, I am uh, gonna just put this guy in and my cell phone makes it. Uh, show you what we do but I think it's about to die um, and then we are going to uh, uh, Kirk uh, Kirk and I I'm good. Um, sometimes have a uh, Howard Stern down and uh, uh, sometimes uh, most most Fridays Kirk and I have what we like to call a safety meeting um, which means that uh, we just uh, drink a couple beers at the uh, downtown place there <laughs> um, so uh, yeah Hope everybody uh, has a fantastic uh, weekend, and um, thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out with me.